outlet of somewhere to be and to be around really supportive peers and really supportive, uh, you know, role models at school. So far in 2023, six teens have lost their lives to gun violence, and tonight we're shining a light on efforts to change that trend. Tonight at 11, Arsenal Tech is all about that jazz. Indianapolis public school students participated in the second annual Freddie Hubbard Memorial Jazz Fest today. The non-competitive festival created to honor the late jazz icon and graduate of Indianapolis public schools. Our Nico Panisi gives us a look and tells us about the impact it has beyond teaching music. What's that sound? You can go. It's the smooth, cool makings of jazz music. If you're going to make a mistake, make it good. Around 60 high school aged musicians from across Indianapolis learn from industry greats. Almost sounds like a bass. At the second annual Freddie Hubbard Memorial Jazz Fest on Friday. It's more than just about the music, it's, it's really about the, the culture. Professional drummer Richard Sleepy Floyd is here to uplift the next generation of musicians. He says jazz history is intrinsically black history. Learning the tradition, you know, the, the musicians, the history of the music. Um, and that's what makes jazz so unique because it has such a rich history that can be traced to many different locations across the United States. And one of those locations is right here in Indianapolis, the birthplace of jazz great Freddie Hubbard, who the festival's named for. Bands from high schools across Indiana and nationally renowned jazz musicians are performing here at Arsenal Tech. Hubbard actually began his legendary career playing the trumpet in the school's band, something that inspires Crispus Attic sophomore Josie Flores. Music. I just, I can't live without it, honestly. She's an aspiring jazz singer. I wish, you know, that one day I get to the point where I am and do have the ability to scat. For Flores, the day is all about learning to get over her nerves, fear, and stage fright. It never goes away. You just have to mentally prepare yourself that you're going to do this and... You know, you, you have to be okay doing it. At a time when gun violence and crime in Indianapolis create a darkness for IPS students, Arsenal Tech Director of Bands Josh Goodman says music programs can be the light. We're giving them an outlet of somewhere to be and to be around really supportive peers and really supportive uh, you know, role models at school as well. Goodman says Indianapolis Public Schools has a rich history that needs to be preserved and expanded upon. Where IPS is and where we're trying to get to, you know, we're trying to build this uh, district stronger. And, uh, and, you know, that's the whole thing with rebuilding stronger. And so honoring the past and then building on that as we go for in the future. Working for you, Nico Panisi, WRTV. And all proceeds from the Jazz Fest will support the Tech Jazz Band for future trips, chic music, and scholarships as well.